Well, we had a good win up at Cornell. It's never an easy place to play. It's a long road trip. And, uh, it was a little bit of adversity training for us. Uh, they won the toss and kind of surprised us, elected to receive. We're excited about that. Let's put our defense out there. And about 30 seconds later, in the end, three plays of cloud of dust during the end zone. So like, and we hadn't given up one touchdown in the previous eight quarters against you know, a good Brown and Lafayette team. So that was a definitely a wake up call, kind of a back and forth first half. And uh, we took the lead, I think, 2017 at halftime. We come out, uh, they more or less dominate the third period. They go up 24 20. <coughs> There's about three minutes left to go in the third quarter. We're down 24 20 and a little bit of a sort of gut check and uh, proceeded to play our best football of the day, offensively and defensively. Defensively, the next 20 plays, we gave up 21 yards. And offensively, we had uh, three good, long, quick scoring drives to put up 21 points in that last part of the game to, to ice the game. It was a team that uh, really was a very good throwing team. They've got a great young quarterback in Jeff Matthews, a kid you're going to hear a lot about, not just uh, in our league in the future. And uh, you know, our kids just showed some poise and resiliency to find a way to win. I think the guy who was the focal point of that was our our junior quarterback, Colton Chapel, a junior from Alpharetta, Georgia. Colton, a year ago, was called upon to come in after both our quarterbacks come, uh, went down. <coughs> he was the third string quarterback at the time. He was called upon after the first game when Collier Winters got hurt. And people ask me to describe Colton. And I say, well, this may not sound flattering, but you know, he's, he's not as pretty as this guy or that guy, but all he does is win. You know, he's won off the record questionable call in the Lehigh game last year from being 7-0 as a starter. He makes great decisions. He's an accurate thrower. He uh, does a tremendous job with ball security, which is something we hang our hat on. And because of it, we won three straight games. In this particular game, he uh, threw for 412 yards and four touchdowns, which happens to be the second most in, in Harvard uh, football <coughs> history. And uh, players and coaches love him because he's very unassuming, very confident in his own right, but very humble, very unpretentious. So I'd like to uh, ask Colton to say a few words and give him this goal. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Gridiron Club of Boston <coughs> and the New England Football Writers for honoring me with this award, but in no way am I you know, able to receive this award without acknowledging my offensive line. You know, I had all day to throw. They've been phenomenal since the beginning of the season. Coach Collin has done a terrific job with them. And not only the offensive line, but our three senior receivers, Adam Christus, Chris Lordich, and Alex Sarkeesian, who did a great great job all day going up, making plays for me, making me look good, and giving me all the credit. So thanks. Thank you again. Those senior receivers, Lordich, and Christus and Sarkeesian combined for about 300 yards and a, and a couple touchdowns and some real clutch plays. Uh, going into the Bucknell game this weekend, a very, very, very good football team overall. Uh, probably the best defensive team we've played there. Either one, two, or three in most <coughs> defensive categories. You're giving up 2.2 yards per rush, They're only giving up 295 yards a game. They're leading the nation, I believe, in turnover ratio. So this will be a big test for us. They've won four games. Uh, they're playing with a great deal of confidence. They're very well coached. <coughs> they're a se senior laden defense, and uh, it'll be a very challenging game for us. I want to congratulate uh, Christian Mulcahy from Plymouth State, and uh, good luck to everybody next week. <laughs>